Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel on this beautiful cold winter's day. Today's topic is fertilizing. As you all know, I changed fertilizers a few months ago and I wanted to get comfortable with using it and seeing results before I shared it with everyone. It's taken a while, but I figured it out after a lot of research and some help from my orchid angel friends. I've tweaked this recipe the way that I like and my orchids are responding really well. The main reason I decided to change fertilizers was I wanted to get away from a monocle nitrogen. My orchids that were growing in big chunky bark didn't really mind it, but the ones growing in moss did. And since more than half of my orchid collection is in moss, I needed to change fertilizers. So I switched to the Jax two-part system. I initially heard about this from Patrick, Growing Orchids in Idaho. And so I wanna thank him and thank Paula, whose channel is called Hillbilly Orchids. It's always a great thing to get advice from good growers and from friends. And I appreciate both of you for helping me. And I can tell a difference in my orchids. So today I'm gonna to show you everything you'll need to be able to use this fertilizer properly. And I'm going to keep this video as user-friendly as possible. First off, you're going to need one of these. It is a TDS pen. It measures total dissolved solids in a solution and it keeps you from making big mistakes. I use this all the time because the amounts that you're using of these fertilizers is very tiny. The correct amount is great, but too much of this fertilizer is disaster. So I'm fertilizing right now at a rate of about 190 to 210 parts per million at each watering. And then once a month, I flush the pots with just plain reverse osmosis water. And I'm mixing up a solution today for one gallon of warm reverse osmosis water. You want to start with warm water because it dissolves better um, in warm water. So I'm going to use 14 drops of CalMag. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's 14. You're, you notice I'm using less of this because the Jax does have calcium nitrate, but I like my cow mag. It's got magnesium in it too, and my orchids just like it, so it works for me. And I'm just going to use 11 drops of the Grow More Seaweed Extract right now. Because my orchids aren't growing as fast this time of the year as they are in the spring and the summer, so I can cut back on that a little bit. Okay, and I'm trying to get about 50 to 55 parts per million of these two in this solution. Let me give this a good stir and we'll see how much I got in there. And my TDS pen says that I got 51 parts per million in there. That was exactly what I wanted. I told you I've been tweaking this for quite a while, so <laughs> I've kind of got this down to a science. Okay, let me give you all a close-up look. This is the Cala Magic that I just used, and this is the Grow More Seaweed Extract that I just used. The next thing that you're going to need to use this system is a 1 8 of a teaspoon. I got this a few weeks ago and this has made my life so much easier because I'm using the Jax Boost, the 1500 at 100 parts per million right now. That's probably going to increase during the spring and the summer, but my temperatures in my sunroom now are about 70, maybe 72. So I'm thinking 100 parts per million in the winter is going to be really, really good. That gives me 
exactly 100 parts per million. I've placed a small amount of these products in these Ziploc bags. I want to keep them dry. I keep them in a, in a closet away from my kitchen because my kitchen kind of tends to get a little bit humid. And then I keep them in this container to make sure they stay as dry as possible. Okay, so I'm gonna use, let me show you here. This is what this product looks like. Very, let me see if I can get it to focus. Very uniform, no chunks, no shards, very good quality product. Okay, I'm gonna add that in there. And that's all that you need of the calcium nitrate. Um, here's what the bag looks like. Make sure that you get the Jacks name brand, not the, not the knockoff because the knockoff is not the same. But it says it prov provides a very soluble and available source of calcium in a two-part nutrient system contains very pure and completely available calcium and nitrate nitrogen nutrient sources. Okay, so I'm gonna give this a stir and I'm gonna check my TDS meter and see what we have. And I got about 105 parts per million. That's fine, that's fine. I'm not looking for exact numbers. I'm looking for a TDS between 190 to 210, so this is good. So I'm gonna take my Jax part A, that's a 5, 12, 26, and I'm gonna to try to get about 50, maybe 55 parts per million of the part A. And I'm gonna use a 1 16th teaspoon of the part A. That has the feed in it, that's the fertilizer. So that's about as close to 1 16th of a teaspoon as I can possibly get. But now you see why you almost have to have this 1 8th teaspoon because it's very, very hard to just eyeball 1 16th of a teaspoon. So I'm gonna add this. I hope I don't get too much, but let's see what we've got. And yes, I got success. It says 198. That's gonna be perfect. And with the, with the part A, you can just kind of keep pinching it in there a little tiny bit until you get that in there just right. And let me give you a close-up of the part A. It's called Feed, and it's a 51226 base foundation fertilizer. It does contain a small amount of nitrogen, the same type that's found in the part B, and it has phosphorus, potassium, and the micronutrients that you need to use for your orchid's health. And yes, it does contain magnesium. So to recap, I'm using about 40 parts per million CalMag, 10 to 15 parts per million seaweed extract, and I add those two first. Then I add 100 parts per million of the Jack's Part B, which is this one. It's called Part B but you add it in first. And then I use the feed, the part A. If it's between 190 and 200 parts per million, I'm happy. If your amounts aren't totally exact, let's say you add 110 parts per million of the boost, that's fine. Just don't go way overboard with it. As a matter of fact, in the beginning, I wrote everything down so that I had this recipe in front of me, and I mixed up my first several batches the night before I was going to use this. And there were a few batches that I got wrong, and I just used them on my house plants. And this fertilizer will look like green tea when you prepare it. The only color will be from the seaweed extract. It's actually clear when you don't use the seaweed extract. The blue color in the fertilizer comes from a monocle nitrogen, and this doesn't have any. So this is gonna look different. The quality of the ingredients of the Jack's fertilizer is really amazing. So like I said, don't buy the knockoff, buy the real Jack's. 
Both of these fertilizers come in 2.2 pound bags. That's going to be enough fertilizer to last me for 20 years. Um, I put a small amount of both of those fertilizers in those Ziploc bags I showed you earlier, and I can't even tell that I've used it. These bags cost between $20 to $30 online, and I keep the bag stored in airtight storage containers in a cool, dry place. Okay, so I've been talking for quite a while, and there's a few more topics about fertilizing that I'm going to save for future videos. Before I end this video, I want to thank to I want to just say thank you to all of you who watch and encourage and cheer me on. I appreciate all of you, and I would love to say the blessing over you, your families, and your plants. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn His face towards you and give you His shalom peace. We'll see you all next time. Make it a great day.